I'm Francesca Ellison and I'm a Year 6 teacher. Today's lesson is based on the book Holes by Louis Sackar and it's about applying lots of our maths learning through a rich context. In our English lessons we've been reading the story Holes which is about a boy called Stanley Yelnitz who's sent to a camp for children rather than to prison and every day he has to dig holes that are five foot by five foot. When we read the story as a class they don't really have any context or understanding of what a five foot by five foot hole would be like to dig and therefore this lesson I really wanted them to actually be able to empathise with that character and apply a lot of their different areas of learning and mathematics into solving problems that would actually give them the real context of the story that we've been reading. So for the first part of the challenge uh, in today's lesson, we looked at the shape of the hole being a cube and focused in on what the dimensions of that would be in feet and then moving on to centimetres cube. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assume that the hole that Stanley has dug is a cube, okay? Because we know it's five foot in every single direction. So we're going to assume that the hole he's dug, took it out, that area is going to be a cube, isn't it? The next part of the session was uh, solving our first problem, which was to do with the volume of the hole that Stanley was going to dig. So we started off by assuming the shape of the hole being our cube. We then moved away from that to then look back purely at the volume of the cube. And again, in groups, they had to then take those measurements and think mathematically and reason mathematically with each other about what the volume of the cube would be. Again, we had a lot of group discussion and are thinking about how they were going to apply their knowledge that they'd got to then try and solve the problem of the volume of the hole. Who would like to share how they found out the volume of their cube? Mersey. Um, so it would be five foot by five foot by five foot. And to multiply all those together, so that five times five is 25, then you can multiply that by five, you get 125. Brilliant, and can anyone tell me about a different way in which you could have expressed that calculation, Lola? So in problem two, we moved on to looking at, instead of the volume of the hole that Stanley dug, on to looking at the mass, the weight of the soil that he was having to move each day. So now we're going to be creating our own centimetre cube cube. Okay, so we know the volume of, our, of the hole that Stanley's going to be digging each day. Okay, now we're going to try and find out what the weight of the mass of that's going to be. How could you use this and the knowledge of the volume to help work out what the weight of the soil that he's digging is? I will let you use the calculator on your iPad to calculate the average. What is the average of the weights of our cubes? Yeah. Who thinks that they have found out the weight of the soil that Sandy is having to laboriously every day be digging up that camp green lake? 4,300,000. Who Glad if you agree with Hamish. You have successfully worked out the weight of the hole that Sammy is digging in grams and in kilograms. And did you know that that weight of the dirt and the soil from the hole is equivalent to about four, the weight of about four cars? What I liked about the lesson is that it was based on a book that we have been reading. And it was different um, to other lessons because it combined different areas of maths and we got to do um, arts and crafts and it was really engaging. I liked the way how it was applied through story instead of just the basic maths. I really enjoyed it because it was quite challenging but it was really good fun as we got to do some arts in it and some crafting. It was also really different to the other lessons because we had some English parts like the book that we were reading about which we really enjoy. I believe that teaching mathematics through a story is really essential and as you can see it's effective regardless of the age of the children. It gives a really engaging and purposeful stimulus and allows children to solve problems in a meaningful context.